So special teams matter, folks, and today we're going to be talking about the Dallas Cowboys special teams position group for 2022, how I'm feeling, is there a certain level of confidence that I have, is there fear, we'll get through all of that in today's video. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on more content when it drops. So, after we get through this, we got training camp, and all questions should be answered, and this is one of the questions that I have, kicker right? You saw what happened last year. The Cowboys got really screwed over with the kicking game, and Greg Zerline lost you games. He also won you games, but if you think about it, if Greg Zerline does his job, this team probably ends 15-2, and 14-3, and and they have home field advantage in the playoffs, and we have a whole different storyline upon us, but that's hearsay nor there. With that being said, He's gone. Now you have a plethora of kickers. You're trying to figure out who will be the guy. And I think the Cowboys already got that guy in Jonathan Garibay, the kicker out of Texas Tech. Okay, he's the homegrown guy. You had other guys like Chris Nagar and the guy from the, uh, the CFL. Look, I just need a young guy that can step in that won't have the yips. And I think that he won't. Because as you get older kickers, and I'm very against signing older kickers, depending on where they're at in their career, it's because things like this happen like with Greg Zerline, and with Dan Bailey before him, and with Brett Maher. They get the yips, or they're just like good at one thing, but they suck at another. I just need a guy that can hit kicks and not miss from the broadside of a barn when it's like inside 30 yards. You know, that's the main thing that Dallas needs. If they can, listen, if he turns into prime Dan Bailey, we'll be A-okay. But I'm not expecting that. He just has to be better than Greg Zerlin. That's all we're hoping for. So I'm a bit more patient with the younger kicker because, hey, you know, younger kickers are a bit of a different thing on the spectrum. But if you're an older kicker, that's different. So what do I like about Jonathan Garibay? Well, you look at his resume and the guy... Uh, missed only one attempt last year. He was 15 to 16 from the field. And then uh, he, in 2020, made 8 of 11 tries, okay? And he was given the all-team resumes for the uh, the Big 12. And he also had a 62-yard field goal to help Texas Tech beat Iowa State. And so you can kind of see, okay, the guy's got a powerful kick to him. The main thing is, okay, how does this translate to the NFL? And that's going to be huge. Greg Zerline missed six field goal attempts last season for the Cowboys. And guess what? Three of the Cowboys' five losses were decided by fewer than three points. Hence why I said the Cowboys could have been 15-2. and two. Okay. And <laughs> what's funny is he missed at least one kick in each of those games. Funnily enough, he actually made a 56-yarder to, if you remember, beat LA, the Chargers, that is. Um, but hey, Greg Zerline's now in New York. We'll see how things go there. But again, um, a lot of people, and I had a conversation with someone recently, and they're saying that this looks very similar to the 2011 room when Dan Bailey first came in, uh, or, and you had a bunch of other guys in there. You know, the question is, is, okay, is, is, uh, Garibay going to be the next Bailey? Probably not. But look, Dan Bailey made 32 of 37 field goal attempts as a rookie in the NFL. And for me, if he puts up that kind of stuff, I'm okay with that. You know, it's all about context. Like, if the guy sucks, that's going to be a problem for me. And so, I think that the Cowboys going back to the, we get a younger kicker when you go from there, that really should be the model for any team. It's only when, like, you need a guy for a certain period of time. You know, sometimes, like, I remember when Nick Folk was laughed out of town, I believe, in uh, Tampa Bay. Now he's in New England, and he's doing just fine. So I'm really rooting for the guy. I think that he will be a great kicker for the Cowboys as long as things progress that way. But with that being said, let's move on to the punting game. I don't really have to say much here. Brian Anger played as one of the best punters in the league last season, if not the best punter. And field possession is a huge thing. If the Dallas Cowboys expect to win more games, um, he's going to be one of those reasons, right? He's going to give you very good field position for your defense, make it harder for the opposing offense to score and drive down the field. And so as long as he can do that, that's fine. Now, some people are a bit skeptical with getting a guy that's older. But hey, listen, if you do your job, I'm not going to bitch about you. So 
there's that. I think that he's um, got a good thing going for him here in Dallas. Let's hope that that continues, and we'll see how things go from there. As for your long snapper, Jake McQuaid, cool, whatever. He's doing his job. Nothing to complain. I don't have to mention his name. Now, for kick and punt returners, I think they're going to move away from CeeDee Lamb this year, which is great, you know, cool. But again, go with what you got. I know that uh, Tony Pollard was one of the names mentioned. You put him there? I don't know. It's really whatever your flavor of ice cream is that you prefer. So, I think that the Cowboys, I'm going to give this group a C plus for now, primarily because we need to see how the kicker does. And we'll see who they put on punt return slash kick return duty. But I think that John, uh, you know, Fossil has done a great job at what happened last year. I mean, blocking, what, three kicks, which hasn't happened, you know, during the Garrett era. So that's great to see. I'm really excited for what this team can do going forward. So without further ado, uh, that that wraps up this whole position evaluation series. Okay? So... We got training camp on the horizon. Um, I'm going to try and release videos as quickly as I can. We'll see how things go. Uh, But I'm really excited, guys. We are going to get new content. No more speculation. All right? So without further ado, I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Goodbye.